Here is some sample data that is already in a stem and leaf plot. Find the following up to three decimal places where necessary. All right, so uh, a stem and leaf plot represents a data set, and you can recreate the data set by using the key that's provided. So the key that's provided is telling me that of all my stems, which are these numbers here, those are the tens place. And then of all the leaves over here, those are the ones place of my data. So one with a bar four means I have a data item of 14. And then I have three bar zero. So that means I have a 30 in my data set, and then another 30, and then 41, 42, and so forth. So that's all my data. Now to get the mean, median, and these other statistics, what I would need to do is start putting them into the calculator and let the calculator give me the values of those numbers. So to put them in the calculator, I'm going to go into the list editor. If you happen to have any data already in a list, just go ahead and highlight the name of the list, press clear and enter, and that will remove the items from the list. And just start entering your data one at a time, taking care to make sure you get the right items in and not to skip any because data entry errors uh, will certainly lead to calculation errors. So be very careful there. All right, then 64, 66, 68, and 69. Now, all of my data is N, and in order to find uh, the mean, median, and the standard deviation, I'm going to use a function called one var stats. So if I press the stat key, slide over to the calculations that are available for in statistics, the first item that I see is one var stats. And that's exactly what I want. Now, uh, if you're seeing a menu like this, that's great. Um, your list is the list where your data is located, which I put my data in L1. So I would make sure to hit second and one. So that reads L1. If you don't see this uh, menu, that's okay too. Then just hitting second and one will put an L1 right next to what you're seeing, which is the one bear stats function. And that's fine. Frequency list, make sure that's clear because we're not dealing with frequencies right now. And then hit enter to calculate. Now we get uh, the mean, which is X bar. So that's 49.2, sorry, 49.5. The median is provided, but we have to scroll down to see it. And in this case, the median is given as 52. The standard deviation, we have to know if we're working with a sample or a population. And it's generally going to be told to you. But if not, just assume that it's a sample. So then scroll back up. So the sample standard deviation is SX. So in this case, 15.526, oops, 526. And I'm just following the rounding rules provided. The range, the range is your maximum data entry minus your minimum data entry. And the calculator doesn't give you the value of the range directly but it does give you the minimum and the maximum. So you can take 69 minus 14 and obtain the range from that. So 55. And lastly, what is the shape of this data? So symmetric, left skewed, or right skewed. In order to determine that, just think of your, your picture here as a histogram where you have frequency bars wrapped around each of the data items. Now, this is going to be a histogram that is uh, unfortunately oriented left and right instead of up and down, um, which is kind of a problem for defining skewness. So you might want to just 
just kind of resketch it real quick and change the order. Okay, so if you do, that's fine. If you don't, I think it's okay as well. But you have a big chunk of your data over here on the right hand side and this elongated tail on the left. So this is going to be data that is skewed to the left because that's where the tail of the distribution is. So, and if it's oriented this way, uh, you can also think of it as skewed negatively. So it's uh, got less of the data over on the negative end of the distribution. And that's how we think about things.